Hi guys, my name is Christine and I am with you once again. And today we have an interesting topic. Today's topic is what do you think about space? So I'm looking forward to seeing what you think about it. Um, I'm live from England, of course, and it's lovely to be here with you. Let's start off from Arush. Arush, can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day? My name is Arush Kumar, I study in class 5F. My school name is University of Thank you very much. And okay, so Arush, can you tell me what did you do today? Today, first of all, good morning. Then I went for a walk and came back. Mm -hmm. After that, I was cooking for some time. Then I got ready. Mm -hmm. After that, I slept for some time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then I went to the temple. After that, I came back. I can't hear you. Yes, ma'am. Not in the Can you hear me, ma'am? Yes, I can hear you now. Yes. So then, after that, how did I join your class? Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so um, can you tell me what do you think about space? Outer space is anything that's completely apart from the Earth or any planet or for the for that matter. Space travelers go through a range of thin, unpleasant feeling. They feel dizzy, sleepy, and weak. They suffer from loss of appetite and stomach upsets and lose their sense of time and space. Thank you. Okay. And uh, so, so how so are you excited about it? Does it make you, how do you feel personally? Yes, ma'am. I feel good. I also want to go to space. You want to go to space? Why? Because I want to see all the stars and all the planets and the moon orbit. Okay, very good. And what? why are you interested in that? Because I, I, I like it and it makes me attractive. Sometimes when I'm bored, so I just switch on my laptop or anything, any device I have nearby. I take that, go on YouTube and, and see about solar systems. Okay, very good. And uh, if you had to go to space, what would you do in space? Uh, I will just first I will go all to all the planets except Venus because mm -hmm. Venus is pretty hot and Mercury mm -hmm. also. So Mercury is nearest to the sun. Okay. Earth, which is at the back of the Earth, there I will go. I will not go to Mercury and Venus, I will just die there. Okay. Good. In, uh, like when I'm going to Neptune there, it might be very much cold. And when I will come to Mercury, it will look like it is very hot. And and, and in uh, like astronauts take up a ball type of something. Like when mm -hmm. you put it in your mouth, that will blast and mineral water will come in a mouth and then you can drink that. So astronaut takes those things. Okay. They can drink they can drink uh, liquids. Okay. And to also eat like tablets and my mother told me before when I was in class three that that astronauts need to eat a tablet for that so that they can't feel hungry. They cannot eat normal food. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes? Thank you. Anything else that you'd like to add, Arush? Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, let's go on to Bisman. Hi, Bisman. Hello, ma'am. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. So can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day? 
Good evening, everyone. I am Bismuth Kaur. I study in Loyola School. I live in Bhubaneswar, Odisha. I am 14 years old. I study in class eight, and I like to do cycling and read sports. And about my today's day, it was a very good day. I really enjoyed my today's day. Today, um, like my my parents uh gave me the permission to go to my friend's birthday, a day out with my friends. So I was really happy, and I played a lot for today. I studied a lot. Like it was a mixture of very good things, and I really enjoyed today's day. Excellent. Very good. Okay. So, can you tell me what do you think about space? Ah, uh, there is no atmosphere in space, which means that sound has no medium or a way to travel to be heard. So the space travelers go through a range of often unpleasant feelings, like they feel dizzy, ah, uh, dizzy or sleepy and weak, suffer from loss of appetite and stomach upsets, and lose their sense of time and space. So, but yeah, as we know that whenever we go to a new place. um they, uh, we face a lot of problems like if you come to india you will obviously face a lot of problems like the local language will be a problem for you maybe the weather for you will be a problem maybe uh like uh, out of india there is a very good view but in india i'll say there is not that nice view so you will face that kind of problem but after a few days you will be like very comfortable like Yes, this is my city only. This is my country only. After exploring it, so like I'll say, after um, I go to space, I'll be also comfortable, be calm, feel good about that because everyone wants to roam in the world. So, and space is a really good place. And uh, I was searching about it, and I found a really interesting thing that there is something called public space. Like public space is a space that is generally open and accessible to people, uh, like uh, who are in uh, roads, public squares, parks, and beaches are typically considered to be a public space. So um, that was something uh, very interesting for me, and I was re uh, reading about it. It was like basically space is um, like um, uh, China has uh, his own space. they have uh, like lawn something like that and then japan also so i feel like in space you should like like astronaut uh, arish that it is really interesting like stars shine and all that you can uh, like have a look at them and there are pub uh, like pub uh, public space also there like the roads the um, the pavements and the parks are also part of the public space so uh, this was interesting for me to get to know that there is something called public space uh, actually i never heard about it from someone so it was interesting for me to get to know and yeah uh, it's like for everyone it's a charm to go to space everyone has a, like and especially boys have a lot of uh, like craze to go to space and they have that uh, bikes and ride oh my god they have all the uh, imaginary things like my class boys also have these kind of imaginary things but girls are very calm like they are like okay for them the hilly area the uh, like the sea beaches for them it's world while for boys it's like space will go to mm -hmm. space astronauts so many wants to be an astronaut just to go to space so yeah i feel like space is really very uh, interesting place to visit and we should like we should once visit there so yeah okay very good and if you had to visit what would you look at first what would you be interested in first i want to see stars Explore. stars yes like uh, from here when we look at the stars the shape is really different like for us it's just a point but uh, when we are drawing it it's a very different shape we cannot define it we just define it by the shape of a star so i want to actually look at it and i have seen someone on youtube they have given the name like on a birthday gift they given the name to the star like a few stars are new grown so they are like unknown like they don't have any particular name so they gave the like they gave their sister's name to it so it was a like birthday gift for so i really got very oh, this can be also done you can give a name to a star and that is like without any like it's free but you have to research a lot for that so yeah i feel like that is really interesting okay very good thank you very much thank you ma'am Okay, and next we have Ashkrit. Hi, Ashkrit. Hi, hi, Christine. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So, Ashkrit, can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day? Well, uh, 
I'll be a little different here. I am a college student. Um, I'm currently living in Pune, Maharashtra. Mm -hmm. And somehow I've been told to join this session. Yeah, it's, uh, it's all. Okay. And can you tell me, what do you think about space? Space for me has been a, a very interesting topic since uh, since the childhood, you know. Mm -hmm. We don't have a lot of information about uh, space. It's, it's still mysterious to us. And that's why it seems interesting. Mm -hmm. As, as the, the people here mentioned that they would like to uh, visit the space, I too mm -hmm. would like to visit the space uh, because, you know, the view we have from there, the view of the earth and uh, the broad spectrum view, it makes you feel forget anything. Uh, it, it makes you forget everything, right? And you see the world from a bigger perspective, all, all the... All the little things, uh, the goods and the bads, vanish out of your eyes. So that's a good thing. Yeah. Okay, very good. Excellent. And what questions um, do you have like that are very interesting for you? Uh, it's, you know, how, how life is going to be there. Are there any people living there? Or if, like, I am a person who's very interested in survival. So will I be able to survive if, uh, if I go there and live, try to live on my own? Mm -hmm. so that's, that's still a question. Uh, we can't assume anything on that, right? So that, that's one interesting question. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Christian. Thank you. You're welcome. And next we have Samikia. Hi, Samikia. Hello, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. Excellent. So, Samikya, can you please uh, introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day? Yes, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. My name is Samikya Sambhadana. I'm studying in class 8 in San Vincent Convent School and I'm living in India at Odisha Parampo. My hobby is to drink paintings and drawings. Thank you. Uh, about today's day, as usual, I get up in the morning for my studies, then I get ready for my school and I went to school. Uh, after that, today, it was a very good news that uh, our teacher asked those for the NCC because I want to go to NCC, uh, it's a camp. So, so in that camp, we can learn how to do firing. So, so I want to go to NCC, so our teacher announced that if those who want to take NCC tomorrow, they can take the form and fill up. So I was very happy for this news. And after coming back from home, uh, I just I just paid a bit rest. And after waking up, I have my studies to do. Um, so I completed my studies. And then after that, I have the tuitions. And my, in my tuition, there was class test. So in tuition test, I, I got full marks in the test. And after that, after my tuition, uh, I was just watching TV for a while. And after that, I again go for my studies. I was writing my notes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what do you think about space? Uh, about space for me, uh, I won't, uh, there is in space, there is no atmosphere. So whenever, whenever someone go to the space, so there, there are, the one who go to the space, they are unable to stand on, on the surface of any anything. Like when we go to the moon, we can't just stand. We just we just feel like we are jumping on that. So because there is no gravity and there is no atmosphere. So uh, for me, I want to feel that experience. And also I want to research about what is happening in those in those area is there anything else or is there anything else or that is only a stone or that is only extra or there is only only a something a substance there but if we will go to that place so we can know what is there what is is there any sub is there anything that we uh is there anything that to survive if there is a thing to survive we can we can just expand those things so that we also can go to there and we can explore those places. And and I want I have researched about that. Uh, Kalpana Chawla of India has gone to the mission. Uh, it I don't know what is the uh, yes the mission of STS one zero seven. I don't know what about this mission, but after I search it from the uh, Google, it has shown that the mission was a. Uh, 
the revision was that they searched for the biology to medicine and the physics, the pure physics and technology development, research, and all those things. So I also, but when they when they were coming back to uh, when they're coming back to Earth, there was a there was a crash in the orbit. So they were died. So so we can get the exact information what they have got because they have. They haven't reached all so i want to know if i can get the chance to go to this space i i also want to research about all those things okay very good excellent excellent well done and uh how do you think you'd feel if you end up do if you if you were to end up going to space how would do you think it would make you feel it will make me more excited because I just want to go to the space because after uh, I was I was in my third class, uh, third or fourth class only. I have read uh, in our, our, a chapter was starting before the chapter that was written about Kalpana Chawla. So at, after I read that, read that paragraph, I just feel like, yes, if, if, we, if I can go to the space, yeah, what... I can explore what I can do. So I was very, I'm just excited. If I can get a chance to explore space, I will be very much excited to go because I can explore new things. Excellent. Thank you very much. Welcome. Okay, next we have Sanjana. Hi, Sanjana. Hello, mom. Hello, Sanjana. Can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day? Yes, mom. I'm Sanjana. I'm from Tamil Nadu, Paramulu. I'm studying 7th standard in RVB Metric Kaya Center School in Turayu. My hobbies are drawing, painting and reading books. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so what did you do today, Sanjana? Well, today it is very good. I mm -hmm. using this day, I make and scheduled and I using this day for hobbies. Mm -hmm. I do drawing and paintings and after that, uh, tomorrow is my brother's birthday. Okay. My family go go, go to shopping. Mm -hmm. After that, uh, my brother bought a dress and he bought uh, he bought a cake and all the one. After mm -hmm. that, we came to home and I play with my brother and I read a storybook and I join your classroom. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Sanjana. Okay, so Sanjana, can you tell me what what do you think about space? Mom, I think uh, place, space is an exploring area and in, uh, in space, I think uh, aliens are there. That is an interesting, mm -hmm. interesting. Uh, I think uh, alien, my brother and my brother and me are discussing on the day. Uh, aliens are to come to the air. Uh, mm -hmm. what it, uh, in some planes are, some planes are, uh, aliens are in some aliens are uh, bad, I think. Okay. In, but what do you, yes. Yes, mom. Uh, but what do you think about, I mean, imagine going to space. So you, you're thinking more about the aliens, but aliens can be good or bad. Um, but what about going to space? Would you be interested in going to space? Um, I can explore more things. Uh, mm -hmm. in, uh, I launch on um, many satellites. I think Abdul Kalam sir uh, launched many satellites. Mm -hmm. he, he is a scientist. And I can, ex I can go to Earth and explore many things. I want to go to space. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And Anything else? In yes, ma'am. In my lesson, there is an a living dog in space. Okay. I think I also do it. 
I also uh, go to with uh, my pet dog and uh, living dog to the space. <laughs> you would live in space. Are you sure yes. you want to live in space away from everyone? No, no ma'am. That I take a challenge to live in space for one day or one hour. Uh, that like I uh, there is a living dog also in my lesson. Okay, very good, excellent. I make it through that my lesson. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much, Sanjana. Welcome, ma'am. Okay, so now I'd like you, there are 10 minutes left in class, uh, to class. So what I would want you to do is, I'd like you to comment if you have anything to comment about um, your classmates' uh, opinions um, and what they said. Yes, Samikia? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I want to say that as uh, Sanjana said about aliens, so I want to say I also forgot that thing that about aliens. Uh, yes, I also, uh, my father was also saying that uh, aliens has visited India for uh, not like India, alien has visited Earth, uh, has visited Earth, and, and it has been, uh, and the case has been also arrived for the for some uh, for uh, I don't know where my father was just telling me no uh, so I think uh, aliens if uh, if we will go to the space we can know about the aliens also as from us aliens are dangerous and it what can they do we also don't know and if okay. aliens will see us uh, if alien will uh, alien will know that we are coming to they can they will also feel like yes we are a uh, very special we are very uh, harmful for them so i want to uh, know how aliens are so i want to get i want to i want to just know are the aliens real or they are fake this we are imagining because there are many universes, there are many galaxies here. Well, in this galaxy, there is one living planet that is Earth. So, in the other galaxies or other universe, there may be any other planet which is living. So, if we will go to the space, we can know about those also. Okay. Thank you very much, Samikya. Welcome back. Okay. And we have Bisman. Yes, Bisman. Ma'am, I wanted to say the same thing like about the, what Sanjana said, aliens. But I'll say many people out of uh, like maybe the 50, 60 people feel like aliens can eat us. So yeah, that scary part is also there with us that aliens can eat us, which is truly a fake thing that aliens cannot eat us. Uh, because it was like really back maybe four or five years ago, uh, it was said that aliens can eat up human beings. So, uh, um, so I was also a bit scared. But now when we know that aliens cannot eat up us, yeah, that is a good thing. Okay, very good. Okay, so are there any more opinions about aliens? Do you think they exist? Do you think they're a myth? And if they do exist, are they evil? Are they nice? Anyone um, has? Can... Yes, <laughs> yes, Angela. Um, I think uh, because of aliens, many planes are, many aeroplanes are hide in the sky. Mm -hmm. That is a new source. Mm -hmm. I I saw that in early and mm -hmm. I want to meet aliens. I want to learn about that. And uh, aliens are came come to earth. That is not possible for living in the earth. Mm -hmm. okay. I want to explore many more things about the aliens mm -hmm. good very but good they are, they are oh. living space or uh, not that is a false or true thing i don't know but mm -hmm. i want to learn about that okay good excellent uh anyone else uh, Christine, uh, since this is our first interaction, I would like you to introduce yourself. To introduce myself? Yes, of course. So um, my name is Christine. Um, I'm from Gloucester. I'm from England. And 
when I'm not teaching, I'm usually doing something active like uh, either a workout or running or hiking or cycling, anything like that. <laughs> so that's your uh, hobby? Yeah, I enjoy doing that. I also love music, watching movies. Um, yeah, so all, all of those things <laughs> when I get a chance. And what's your education? My education, I, I graduated with, I've got a master's um, and I also got a bachelor's, a bachelor's degree in um, medical science. I've got a, a master's and uh, my English, of course, teaching as well. <laughs> okay, so you're not practicing medical as of now? No, no. <laughs> no, it was just, a, I, I just got up to my bachelor's with that. <laughs> so, okay. And what do you think about space? Um, I think, well, I don't know. I think it's very big and I think it's very silly if I thought that we are the only things and, and the only beings present. Um, I, I, I mean, I come from a, from as well, a, a, an acting background. Um, uh, that's what my master's was in. So I also realized like how many films there are, um, about other beings, um, and, you know, in space. So obviously I am not the only one who thinks this, this has been, you know, something that's been in the media for ages. Um, and if not in the media, it's been on movies and in comic books and in, in you know, in, in books, whatever. It's been, it's been there for, for years and years and years and years. So it makes you wonder what made the first person think are there aliens out there? Was it just an imagination, uh, a, an imaginary thing? Was it a story, a myth that people came up with? Or was it really something that happened maybe many, many, many years ago? Maybe there, what, there was, a, I don't know, some form of ET that landed. I don't know. I have no idea. But um, it makes you wonder, the universe is massive. It's always expanding. But so, you know, uh, you know other, other than uh, beings and aliens, what may uh, captivate you towards space other than these beings? Black holes. I am very interested and intrigued by black holes. I'd like, I'd like to know what happens inside a black hole. Um, I, it just always fascinated me. I think it's because it's so scary to think of. Um, that it's always bewildered me and it's always been something of interest. It's like all of us would like to visit the space, you'd like to visit the black hole, right? <laughs> well, I wouldn't want to go anywhere next to it. I'll be disintegrated, but um, <laughs> I would like to see it from afar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, very good. Um, anyone else, is anything else to comment? This is unusual. I don't usually give my opinion so much. Um, so anyone else would like to comment or say what they are intrigued by in space or if they think aliens could uh, possibly I think, uh, when when we talk about space i feel when we when we'll go there as a species and the first thing we'll need to do is inspect and analyze the soil or the structure of the land there because we need to grow food in order to live so that is uh, that's going to be an interesting exploration that uh, what elements do their soil contains and is it can can it be used to grow food to, to you know make a, make a chemical compound that can be similar to water and mm -hmm. uh, because that is life without that it's it's uh, foolishness to stay there and it's unsustainable right absolutely so fact again Okay, well, thank you very much, Ashford. Uh, thank you, guys. We've come towards the end of the session now, and I'd like to thank you for giving um, this in interesting discussion about space and what amazes you and what you're intrigued by and if you'd like to go there with aliens. It's been really uh, a full discussion today about everything that's, uh, that's space-related. So thank you for joining, and I hope you have a good evening, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Bye, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. Bye, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. It's really great uh, with all these smart minds.